G'day fish keepers, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and in today's video we're going to be talking about Rapashi Agapo Explorer. Alright, so we're going to be talking about five key points. First of all, what it is. Second of all, what's in it. Third of all, how do we make it. Fourth, what do we feed it to. And five, why is it so damn good. Right, so what is it? Well, essentially it's a tropical fish food. It starts off life as a powder like this almost like a really fine meal ground up everything's inside of it we mix it all together and we turn it into this a gel based food so let's talk ingredients i personally consider rapashi agapu explorer a whole food based food to feed your aquarium fish the ingredients list is actually incredibly good and all the way down it is full of nutrients and it's been formulated with the fish that we're keeping in mind as opposed to what's going to be the easiest way to feed them. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to read out the agapo list and I'm going to read out the list of our most popular other selling fish food and I'll let you work out which one's which and um, which one you think is a better option. So list number one, black soldier fly larvae meal, krill meal, banana powder, squid meal, mango powder, Pea flour, mulberry fruit powder, dandelion powder, seaweed flour, almond flour, coconut flour, ground flax seeds, alfalfa meal, locust bean gum, citric acid, stinging nettle, garlic, ginger, cinnamon, dried watermelon, rose hips, hibiscus flour, marigold flour, another flower that I can't read, paprika, turmeric, dried kelp, calcium, potassium, and the list goes on. Second ingredient list from a different product that is one of our most popular ones. Fish meal, wheat germ meal, wheat flour, corn gluten, feeding oatmeal, dehulled soybean meal, potato protein, shrimp meal, dried yeast, fish protein digest, wheat gluten, monocalcium phosphate, inulin, uh, lechian, some more words I can't read, paprika, beta carotene, vitamins, uh, some other words that I can't read, some minerals, rosemary extract, uh, and the list goes on with some words that I can't read. Right, so how do we make it? Again, this is nice and simple. I think a lot of people are a little bit put off this product or the Rapashi range because there's a little bit of work and there might be a little bit frightened that there's too much work, but it is really quick and easy. It takes about as much time to make a cup of coffee as what it does to make Rapashi. So let's go through that. So it's as simple as one part Rapashi. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons. Actually, I'm gonna use three because I need more than that to get through the shop. To two to three parts of water. So don't use freshly boiled water, as in like jugs just clipped off and away you go. Boil it up, let it sit for a little bit to cool down a little bit, then chuck it in. Uh, you can also make it in the microwave using cold water and then mixing it up. You can use the stove top. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of easy ways. So I've added some water and now we just mix. It's really that simple. If you think that your mixture is a little thin, you can add a little bit more of the powder. If you think that it's a little bit thick, you can add a little bit more water and this is really difficult to mix with one hand so you can't smell it but this particular formula smells really nice it smells quite pleasant quite smells quite fruity it's really quite delicious so we let it sit it takes about 10 15 minutes once it's cooled down we can figure it out so now we set just grab a knife and slice it into desired sizes and again this is going to be really hard to do with one hand so with the magic of television and done. So now that it's made up, you can just treat it like a fresh food, uh, yeah, fresh food. Uh, put a sealed container on it or a Ziploc bag, whatever, store it in the fridge for up to two weeks, uh, or you can chuck it in the freezer and store it in the freezer for a couple of months. It's really that simple. This would probably last the average hobbyist, I don't know, three, four weeks or something like that. It lasts me about three days, but that's okay. So here's a little tip when it comes to making repartial. You don't have to make it like that. If you want to make it um, for feeding fry, for example, if you mix with cold water, it stays as a complete liquid. It doesn't set like that. If you want to make it to, say, feed your plecos that like to rasp on stuff, 
when it's still sitting, get a piece of wood or a plec of ceramic or something along those lines, dip it in it, roll it, and it'll sit on that. Then you put it into your aquarium, and you'll be able to rasp on that. It's really good for um, autosynclus as well, uh, that method. Uh, you can feed it out as a dry powder as well. Um, literally just get some in your fingers like you would normal fish food, put it on top, and away you go. Again, that works really well for fry or smaller micro fish as well. So you don't have to set it as the gel. There's a few different ways of doing it, but all are just as efficient and just as effective to feed your fish. So we can feed to absolutely anything, but it's really well set for anything from rainforest regions. Plecos love it. Uh, as we can see here, coolies love it. Pilgaramis are hanging around quite nicely. We've got some more coolies having to go over there. Corydoras go absolutely nuts over it. They cannot get enough of this stuff. The mollies are very clearly happy feeding it, or feeding on it. More Corys going crazy. Cardinal Tetras going crazy for it. Angelfish devouring it. The old platies and old boy Better going for it as well. Golden barbs, emperor tetras. Everything goes for it. Like, it is a very, very well rounded premium food for pretty much any fish that you can think of. Whiptails having a feed. This product is absolutely amazing. Easily my most favorite in the range. So why is this product so good? So first of all, I want to talk about price point. So for an 85 gram container, we sell it for $34.99. So you think straight away, that's actually not that good value. But when you realize that that 85 grams works out to be three to four times the amount of food. So I said 160, 320 grams for $35, it works out really well. So Old Mate Aqua One Tropical Flakes up there. 180 grams we sell for $34.99. So basically you're getting for the same price point, you're getting nearly double the amount of food than the cheapest flake. Then the biggest containers, which are 340 grams, four times that, approximately 1.2 kilograms were made up. We sell that for $67.99 off the top of my head. 300 grams of the Tetra Color Bits there, are $64.99. So pretty much the same price point off the shelf but when you've made it up you get four times the amount so it works out incredibly economical the next point i want to talk about is how incredibly balanced the ingredients are there is no fillers there is no junk it's been scientifically made up and peer researched for food that the fish eat in the wild we're trying to replicate everything we can with the water conditions and their living environments we need to be trying to be doing it with their uh, feeding food as well. So for me, the nutrition is fantastic. There's no fillers. It's just a really, really good nutritionally balanced product to be going into our food, into our fish. Fish eat it, straight up. What more do you want? The first thing you need from your fish food is to make sure your fish eat it. As you've seen through this video, fish just go absolutely crazy for it. So that's a huge tick. Fish absolutely love it. It's made by people that keep fish. Whether it be people that are going out researching, whether it's people that just keep fish like you and me or are hobbyists, but it is made by people that keep fish and keep aquariums. It's not made by a faceless corporation that are there just to make the money out of it, drop the ingredients, the quality of the ingredients to try and make more money. It is made by people that care. It's made by people that really want to make a positive impact on the fish that we are keeping. So there we go, that's my hot take on Rapashi Agapo Explorer. If you can't tell, I'm absolutely pro it. I think it's an amazing product. Fish devour it. Uh, since we've been feeding in the shop, I've seen the fish colors get more vibrant. I've seen the fish become more active. They just absolutely love it. Um, like I said, I'm clearly pro. I'd really strongly encourage you to give it a go if you haven't already. If you have, let me know what you think about it. And if you haven't, drop some comments down below and, and Sort of tell me why you're not considering it, why you haven't considered it, and we'll see if we can answer some questions and break some barriers for you because it is a phenomenal product. It is well worth having in everybody's food repertoire. Um, it's absolutely a whole food if we used the whole way through. Um, so, yeah, that's my take on it. Like I said, I'm absolutely pro, but I'll let you be the judge. Use this video to help you take your container of yourself home, give it a feed, see what you think. All right, team, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Happy fish keeping, and catch you all later.